Meet Lisa, mild-mannered housewife who had everything a woman could want. A house and sanctuary, a refrigerator full of ice-cold Nuka-Cola, a brand new Mr. Handy named Codsworth, a loving husband and son. One day, vault came calling, saying there was space in the vault. Later that day, October 23rd, 2077, the bomb started falling and not everyone was guaranteed a spot in the coveted Vault 111. Few sanctuary survivors made it before the blast hit just southwest of Boston that day, Lisa's family included. They were whisked away to Vault 111 under the guise of protection, saying that they're just going through decontamination when really they were placed in cryostasis. A man with a scar abducted her child and now she must face the wasteland alone under the harshest conditions. This is her story. This is Fallout 4 Survival. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Saka here with Lisa and Kate in Fort Hagen. When we left off, we found a little barracks room with some foot lockers here. We do have a 308. Can't pick up the missiles. Fusion cores. You might want to think about dropping some of that crafter carry. I am not going to leave these fusion cores behind. They're all fully charged. Excellent. Let's see, the gamma rounds. Store those, we don't need those. And the 38s. Up, oh, and I think Kate is completely full. Matter of fact, I don't think we have any 38 weapons. We do not, so it's probably in our best interest to drop these 38s. Let's see, our ammo, the 38s. Let's just drop them all and save a pound. Don't need those. A locker room. With a novice lock, we can break that. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Got a second. I got something I want to say to you. Sure. Now is really not the best time, but. What you need? You have time to talk now. Still have something important to say. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Go on. Go on. I'm not sure ah! how to put this. Don't stand up and point your shotgun at me. For a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I notice you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. Yeah, I've stim packed you several times. I appreciate it. I appreciate your trust. Well, you're the first to earn it. It all starts with two waves of humanity. I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. 18 years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. I remember in New Vegas, those slavers that wanted you to put uh, the shock collars around, and that was very interesting. Life is harsh. Life can be harsh. You don't know the half of it. It would be easy to blame me charming personality on me parents. But they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they used me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing is that how you spell bided? It looked like bitted. Cake, as long as you don't get greedy. Kill them all. I can't believe you tolerated that. I would have killed them all. That's easy for you to say. You weren't there. You have no idea what I went through. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. 
But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. Wait, so she said, no, it's easy for you to say of killing them, but then she killed her parents. Eh, you did what you had to do. You did what you had to do. Did I? When I close me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl? I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. I wonder what Ireland does look like in the Fallout universe post-apocalyptic because with the major players being the United States and China, I can imagine those places got jacked up, but was Ireland left alone? I'm proud of you. Good job. Hey, I'm proud of you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this, but I never expected you to say you were proud of me. I, I, I think I needed to hear that from you. Thank you. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Good. I wouldn't want to strain our little partnership. Well, thanks for listening to me prattle. I suppose we can get back to business now. Let's get back to business. Now, do I have that perk yet? The follower perk? Let's see. Show effect. No, that would be in the perks. No, I don't see the Kate follower perk. But maybe there's one more level to go. All right, stim pack and a blood pack. We'll need that for Kellogg. We can't let our uh, our little story detour us from the task at hand, and that's killing Kellogg with extreme prejudice. Now, where were we going? Did we come down that hallway? It's yeah. That's right, we were walking along here, and we stopped to, uh, to rest up. Well, okay. In a perfect world, I could just, like, throw some grenades down in there, uh, with Kellogg. So that's the exit, but we can't get back there. Makes me wonder... If there's an alternate way. Definitely. I saw that turret. I don't think Kate did, though. Let's finish it off. Yeah, I hear that. It's called a turret. Of the laser variety. Oh, jeez. Oh, hi. Let's finish this off. There's a scent. All right, go get him, Kate. Time to see if our friendship is all that in a bag of potato chips. Oh, he's almost gone. Our survi survival's improbable, huh? How about yours? Oh, a strider. He's gonna take a beating. Nice of you to take my hiding place, Kate. Three to five second rush across the the gap. Kate's still doing the work. There's a good shot. One more good one, Kate. Finish him off. Nice. So far, so good. Don't need to take the fusion cells. Be on the lookout for more turrets. Oh. Kate's getting lit up. That was a good shot. Nice. And now we are hidden once more. Back at it. Oh, a fusion core. I want to grab that. 
Fusion cores are one of those things that you really can't pass up until you get like 20 or 30 of the things. More fusion cells for us, but I'm not going to take them. We don't have any laser rifles. Always bust a lock, though. That's it. A stealth boy would come in handy. It only weighs a pound. We'll do that. Bad. Remind me to give you some pointers sometime. Lady, I don't need your pointers. Skeleton hanging out. Ooh, another bed. We can at least save the game here. Sleep for another good eight hours in a clean bed. That's good for us, making positive progress. We need some water. Let's see, we got some dirty water. Here's some pure water. We're back, good to go. Still fatigued though? And we've slept for like 16 hours today. I don't understand why we're still fatigued. A blowtorch, which I would definitely take if, we'll take some moldy food. We don't get radiation from it. Oh, hello, bobblehead. Bingo. 25% critical damage with energy weapons. That's pretty nice. All right. An explosives box. If we could grab some grenades, or some mines perhaps, and get Kellogg when it, yes. well, an extra pound for a couple more grenades. Move, Kate. We do have those grenades on the bar, correct? We do not. We have pulse grenades for the sense. Let's just go the... Oh, hi! Good shot, good shot, good shot. That was a good shot. He staggered. Nice, finish him off. Well, we were follow. He's a legendary. Crit. Well, he mutated. Go get him, Kate. Oh, jeez. Let me help. I can help. 59%. Still douche. Goodbye, legendary. Well, we got a Sentinel Raider left leg. Reduces damage while standing. Well, it's not entirely important that we have that. We can see what it'll do for us. No, it's junk, essentially. And three pounds, we don't need it. We don't want it in our lives. What we do want is some more blood in us. Oh, hello there, Quantum. Yeah, that's like a back, a back door in, perhaps. You got guts and determination. It's admirable. You are in over your head in ways you. Let's put one of these pulse grenades to work. All right. Build up this crit meter. Or at least try to. With terrible shots. Go, Kate. See if I can shoot through her legs. Yeah, but that wasn't a very good shot. A strider and a seeker. Jeez. Get him, Kate. Okay, that one's gone. We can concentrate fire now. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. Let's bat him up. Oh, 84%. All right. 
Come on around that corner. Good night. And flop like a fish. All right, Kate, get up. I don't ask for much. Just need a full bottle and some bones to. Yeah, I hear you. Let's see what kind of food we have. We'll finish off the moldy food. That's a little bit. Let's see, some Salisbury steak, outstanding. Some sugar bombs, why not? I'll keep those Yaoguai ribs for... Yeah, drink a Quantum. Institute rifle, a microcarbon, and a synth helmet, huh? So this synth helmet's better than what we got? Probably for, yeah, for laser damage. I'm probably an idiot for not putting that on, considering how we're facing a bunch of synths who use uh, laser weapons, but... It's not too late. Stop. Turn around and leave. You have that option. Okay, ready for a secondary laser turret, like you. Hello? There it is. Nice. Sneak attack double damage on the turret. Let's see, fusion cells again. Can't break the code. Yeah, master terminal. We're not getting through that. Ooh, and another bed. We'll go ahead and sleep for our five hours. It'll kick us out early, but it'll be a nice safe spot. Turn around and walk away. Bobby pins and some first aid for us. Always good, especially since we're about to nice. uh, to face the boss. Kate! Let me out of the bathroom. Oh, I thought that was a safe, but it's just a, uh, a painting. All right, forward we go. Yeah, another laser turret. That thing's a resilient one. Go get it, Kate. I know you want to. Over there. Get him. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, we will... Yeah, drink these dirty waters to get those out of the inventory and get our weight down. Is this a joke? It has to be a joke. Kate, can you get him? Or am I gonna have to do the work? Yeah, you got him. Good night. I assume. There you go. Destroyed that laser turret for us. Ooh, and another bed. And it's a clean one. You know, considering how he's right through that door, I think it would be in our best interest to sleep again. What kind of status do we have? Require more sleep, require... Shoot, it's saying we need more sleep, so that's what we'll give them. I'd like this insomnia to go away. We should be getting caught back up on our, on our sleep, I would think. Apparently not. Well, we're a little bit hungry, but when I eat those Yaoguai ribs, we should be in like a dirty shirt. Hello, ammo box. Aw, oh, come on. I love how every lock in the game looks like this. Got it. More fusion cells. Okay. Wow, you made, you made it. I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. Alright. This is the big bad. 
What do I have for... Okay, I've got some pulse grenades and I've got some frags. We'll try to get the drop on him. We won't worry about talking. Because we know it's where's our son. See ya! Hello. Confronted. Yes, we did. Kate! Found you. Grenade in there. Sure that nearly blew him to smithereens. We'll throw some pulse grenades in there. All right. So far, so good. There's Kellogg. Yeah, and we are hurting for certain. All right, aid, we'll stem pack, and then we'll eat the Yao Guai ribs, drink the water, wait for him to come around this corner. Let's get this shotgun in. Well, 93 damage for two. Oh. 25% less action points, that'll come in handy. Whoa! What in the world was that? All right, we're gonna try it again. I think we had a good first approach. All right, let's get set up. Grab the frags, grab the hunting rifle. Open the door, get through the hoopla. You made that look like easy, yeah. Go ahead and unlock the box for free experience. Can't argue with that. Yes. Okay, you made it. Now you're just showing off. I'm just up ahead. My sins are standing down. Let's talk. All right, trying this again. Uh, let's see, we're good. Four frags. Oh good, it didn't throw. I was going to say, good night, good night, good night, all right, start chucking in the pulse grenades, oh geez, broke my arm right away, that is incredible. Stem pack. Jeez! What in the gravy can I do? All right. Adjust our strategy. Hmm. Let's throw in the Malta first. Maybe we can catch one of them on fire. That's a that's a hope and a prayer. Sweet. Okay. You made it. I'm just up ahead. My sins are standing down. Let's talk. Yes, let's. And while you talk, I'm gonna light you on fire. See ya! All right, four frags. Movement detected. Curious. Hoping that stealth boy goes away or wears out. See if we can funnel him down this hallway. Please come out. I may be a louse, but I'm a live louse. Can we go back hidden? There was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. There he is. Jeez. All right, let's eat the Yaogwai ribs. Let's uh, go damage resist. Let's go buff jet. Buff out. Drink a water. Drink a quantum. him. That didn't work. Come on, 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, what we're gonna do now is since he's at that hallway corner, let's frag him up. Oh, geez. Okay, you're gone. All right. Frag down the hallway again. And again. Oh, there he is. Jeez. We are so toast. He has that dang stealth boy. We made good strides. But I honestly don't know if we are at a level where we can compete with this guy. We're gonna have to get cheeky. We might have to go in there and just lay waste to him, like right at the start. So let's do this powerful hunting rifle. Okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Unlock those, as per nice. usual. Okay. Open the door. I'm just up ahead. My sins are standing down. Now, if I can get a good sniper position where he comes out and I can get some headshots on him. do this. Crit! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get him, Kate. Okay, he's dead. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Retreat down the hallway, get into a defensible position. All right, Kate's defensible. All right, so now let's throw in those pulse grenades. Try to get those scents down. Bounce off Kate. But, was that it? We did it, we did it, we did it. Excellent. I didn't think we could. Who? Well Cybernetic brain augmenter. All oh, this tech. Forty-four rounds. You were barely Stem human. packs. Yes, I'll take Kellogg's pistol. What weight am I at? One fourteen. Yeah, that'll do. That will do indeed. Stem pack and a blood pack. We'll go ahead and shoot up some more blood for us. And get in this pat this terminal here. View access logs. Okay, and then open the doors. And now the doors are open. We are good to go. And I am paranoid as all get out, so I'm going to go back and sleep in our bed. I think we've earned it. All right, sleep for another eight hours. We are auto-saved and Kellogg is dead. Yes! I was so worried about the Kellogg encounter, but we got, uh, we got that crit in, we got a couple good shots, and we are victorious. So, in the next episode, we'll discuss our findings with Nick and make our way to, uh, to good neighbor. So that'll do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Saka. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. And for Kate and Lisa, I will see you in the next Fallout 4 video. Take care.